period blood is not always red, the color can vary. And sometimes this can confuse you or sometimes it can just freak you out. Hi ladies, I'm Dr. Simi. In today's video, we'll be talking about the different period blood colors, some of the myths that surround them and what, if anything, they tell you about your overall health. Okay, so let's start with the first period color, black. So I don't know if this has ever happened to you before, but you go into the toilet and you want to change your pad or your tampon, and then you pull down your knickers and then sitting there on your pad is like this black blob. Or you might see that there's a black blob clinging on for dear life on the end of your tampon. It can be a bit alarming if you've never seen it before, right? Because you're just like, did that just come out of me? But actually that jelly-like substance that you're seeing is just some old blood that's been hanging around in the vagina and it's just had a chance to clot, going from a liquid state to a more jelly state or it's the lining of your uterus, the endometrium being shed during your period. You're more likely to see this if you're somebody that suffers from heavy periods because the endometrium can kind of break away in chunks and then you can see this. And if you pick it up and then rub it between tissue, you'll realize that it's not actually black at all. It's just a really deep red. It's okay to pick it up. It's coming out of you. It's not disgusting. Um, and you can pick it up and have a look at it closely. Okay, so the other time that you can see black period blood is towards the end of your period when the blood is taking its time to come out of the vagina, the flow is slower, um, it's a lighter bleed, and it just means that the blood has a chance to become oxidized and turn black. So let's talk about some of the myths that I've heard about black period blood. So it means that there's a blockage in the vagina. Okay, so black period blood doesn't necessarily indicate that there's a blockage in the vagina. Medical causes of a blockage in the vagina are much more likely to give you an absence of periods or painful periods. The most likely thing that can be blocking the vagina is a forgotten tampon, but a forgotten tampon doesn't change the color of your period blood. It's much more likely to give you a foul smelling vaginal discharge. Black period blood is rarely anything to worry about, but if you notice that the clots are particularly large or you're starting to feel tired during your period or lethargic, then do speak to your doctor. Brown period blood is just blood that's been oxidized and you will commonly see this at the beginning or at the end of your period when the flow is quite light and the blood is taking its time to come out of the vagina so it's had a chance to combine with oxygen and then become oxidized. It's, it's similar to if you leave a nail outside and then it becomes rusty. The other time that you see this brown period blood is when you first wake up in the morning because you've spent quite a long period of time lying flat then the blood has had a chance to pool in the vagina and to collect and then when you go to the toilet you might notice that you have some brown blood. Brown blood can be due to your normal period, due to bleeding after sex because you've got cuts or tiny scrapes from friction in the vagina. It can be due to spotting in between your periods, which has so many other causes. So essentially what I'm saying is that it doesn't tell you anything about the cause of the bleeding. It just tells you that there's a light bleed and that it is slow enough for the blood to have had a chance to be oxidized and turn brown. The other myth that I've been hearing is that this is old blood from your previous month's period. The uterus is like, it's like an upside down pear, right? It's smooth, it's got curves, and the vagina is being constantly washed out with vaginal discharge and cervical fluid. In normal anatomy, there isn't anywhere for the blood to go and kind of hide, you know, for a month and then think to itself, oh yeah, I'm gonna come out now. The other myth that I've heard is that eating iron-rich food is going to make your period blood darker. Now, even if this were to happen on some molecular level, right, you are unlikely to be able to detect a change in the color of your period blood. For those of you that might get freaked out thinking these specimens are real, they're not. I've literally spent my Saturday evening looking for ingredients to make the perfect period blood. Remember, periods are not disgusting. Okay, so let's move on to a color that you're more familiar with, red. And you will typically see this at the beginning and maybe the middle of your period. And it just means that the blood is coming out at a steady rate, it's not slow, and it hasn't had a chance to be oxidized. I would say that one of the most common myths I see about red blood is that because it's red, it's completely normal. And it's like, yeah, if your period is red, then it's healthy. So it's not that this is a myth, it's just that it can lead you into a false sense of security. The problem with this is that there are other causes of red bleeding that can be mistaken for your period. Bleeding from a cervical polyp can be red. Bleeding in between your periods, which has different causes, can be red. Bleeding after sex, which can be due to an STI, and bleeding from an ectopic pregnancy can all be red. So there are two lessons that I want you to take away here. Not every vaginal bleeding is a period and bright red bleeding from the vagina doesn't necessarily tell you that the bleeding that you're seeing is normal. So that's why if you have any concerns whatsoever, you should be talking to your doctor. Pink period blood can happen if the flow is really light. So for example, at the beginning of your period, and it just means that the blood has been diluted by vaginal discharge or cervical fluid. So some of the myths that I've seen about pink period blood. So pink period blood means that you are low in estrogen. Being low in estrogen is much more likely to cause your period to stop 
or become erratic than to change the colour of the period to being pink. Also, having high oestrogen, such as when you are on the combined oral contraceptive pill, can actually make your flow lighter, which means that the blood can come out looking pink because it's diluted or dark because it's oxidised. So essentially what I'm saying is that your period blood can be pink whether you have low oestrogen, high oestrogen or normal oestrogen. Okay, so this is another myth. Period blood can be purple. Human blood is typically red, and that's because of the heme component of the haemoglobin in the red blood cells. Also, another myth that I've seen is that period blood can be grey. You shouldn't be having grey period blood. You can, however, have grey vaginal discharge, which can sometimes be a sign of bacterial vaginosis. And if you want to know more about that, then you can watch my video on vaginal discharge colours. Okay, so another myth that I see is that watery period blood means that you're anemic. Actually, in anemia, the colour of the period doesn't change. If you have watery looking period blood, it's much more likely to be because it's been diluted by vaginal discharge or cervical fluids. So one of the biggest myths that I also hear is that the colour of your period tells you something about your overall health. The colour can't tell you anything about your overall health because it can mean so many different things. It's the flow rate, the exposure to oxygen and whether that blood has been diluted that's going to determine the colour of your period blood. If the flow rate is quick then the blood will exit the vagina quicker and you will see this as bright red. If the flow rate is slower then it will have more of a chance to combine with oxygen and to be oxidised and you will see it as either dark red, a brown or sometimes black. If it's diluted by cervical fluid or vaginal discharge then it may come out pink. You can see that most of the period blood colours can be normal, but that doesn't mean that you should diagnose yourself. If you've got any concerns about your periods, please see your doctor irrespective of the colour. Also, please see your doctor if you have irregular, painful or heavy periods, bleeding in between your periods, after sex or after menopause, and also any sort of bleeding during pregnancy. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please do share it.